It's not in only in mantle cell lymphoma, and most of the malignant disorder, including mantle cell lymphoma. Um, to use chemoimmunotherapy, which is kind of standard of care in most of lymphoma treatment, you need intact a B53 protein. So if you have a disrupted protein, in my interpretation, I think using chemotherapy, uh, it has m it will cause more problem than um, benefit to the patient. One, the chemotherapy it will not work because basically you debulk the disease, but the the clone will escape after you finish your treatment, and that's why they have. Um, a median overall survival 1.3 in most of the trials, uh, people who harbor B53 mutation. Two, because of the um, selective advantage of resistant to clones, so if you hit the normal um, hemopoietic um, uh, normal cells, then you will um, allow expansion of a resistant clone, and that's partially explain why if you're using your target therapy as a second line, it will not work as more efficient if you use it up front. Therefore, I am advocating for people who are harboring B53 mutation to use your target therapy up front rather than delay in the treatment. And I, I do understand there is emerging data using a single agent, maybe protonib, it won't overcome B53 mutation, but I strongly believe this cohort of patients need to have a combined diblet or triplet therapy to overcome the B53 mutation. So basically, they tend to respond to immunochemotherapy, but they relapse very quickly, and they carry a, a very dismal outcome for treatment.